Have you ever wondered about the calendar that our Creator intended when He told Moses, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. It would be several hundred years after the flood of Noah that the Lord would reveal Himself to Abraham. Later in Hebrew history, the Lord spoke to Moses on Mount Sinai and revealed to him His covenant with man and the appointed times that they were to come together as a congregation. It was through these special days throughout the year that the Lord would reveal Himself to them, that He was in control of every moment in time. The religious year began with the first month, in which occurred the Passover, the first great feast of the Jewish cycle. In the Passover story, Exodus chapter 12 verse 2 states, the words of God to Moses. This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Therefore, it was based on these words that the Passover celebration was to be held in the first month of the Hebrew year. The Hebrew calendar which starts with the month of Nisan is either March or April in the Gregorian calendar. In the Hebrew calendar, Passover always occurs on the 15th day of the Hebrew month of Nisan and ends on the 22nd day of Nisan. Exodus chapter 12 verse 18 in the Passover story again states the words of God to Moses. In the first month, on the 14th day of the month at even, ye shall eat unleavened bread until the one and twentieth day of the month at even. Since the Jewish day begins at sundown and ends at sundown, this commandment from God is interpreted to mean that the fourteenth day at evening means after sundown and hence the start of the fifteenth day of Nisan. Similarly, the 21st day at evening also is interpreted as after sundown and hence the 22nd day of Nisan. A Hebrew calendar day does not begin at midnight unlike that of the Gregorian calendar. The Hebrew calendar is used for religious purposes by Jews all over the world and it is the official calendar of Israel. The Hebrew calendar is a combined solar-lunar calendar in that it strives to have its years coincide with the tropical year and its months coincide with the synodic months. An ordinary non-leap year has 353, 354, or 355 days. A leap year has 383, 384 or 385 days. The three lengths of the years are termed deficient, regular, and complete, respectively. An ordinary year has 12 months. A leap year has 13 months. Every month starts approximately on the day of a new moon. The months and their lengths are Nisan, Iyar, Sivan, Tammuz, Av, Elul, Tishri, Kesvan, Kislev, Tibet, Shevat, Adar 1, Adar 2. The month Adar 1 is only present in leap years. In non-leap years, Adar 2 is simply called Adar. 
Note that in a regular year, the numbers 30 and 29 alternate. A complete year is created by adding a day to Cheshvan, whereas a deficient year is created by removing a day from Kislev. The alteration of 30 and 29 ensures that when the year starts with a new moon, so does each month. The Bible proves why the Hebrew calendar today is still the only valid, reliable, and divinely authorized means of measuring time for Christians in their obedience to the commandments of God. The Hebrew calendar confirms the accuracy of the biblical records, a historical detail that proves how authentic the Bible is.